Hello Pisces, welcome to your reading. So um, I rolled the dice, I got your sign, so here we are. Um, so we have be authentic, be real and true to who you are and how you feel. Look to your inner strength, you're stronger than you realize. Romance, lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection. Um, how your person, insight about your person, let's see. Hmm. I feel like there's an energy here of letting your true emotions out and, you know, having the strength after the the situation of letting that emotion out. Um, there is really, like, so much romance and true love, um, but this is kind of going like a toxic kind of relationship. Uh, sorry, not sorry. And I feel like uh, one of you, one of the energies here, wanting wants peace. They want to move to calmer waters. Um, there's an ending here. There's a change. He needs to trans transition with this card right here. Um, there's someone that is deeply hurt, uh, Pisces, and um, they're moving on. They're having fun. They're ha happily single. And let me just clarify it with this deck. This deck. So let's see what the energies are surrounding you th uh, this week, Pisces. So that was just an insight for your person. So they may be hurt. They're, they want a new beginning. They need uh, freedom, liberation. They're talking to friends. They're trying to live in the moment just to um, celebrate what they have and who they are. So current energy here is ooh, the King of Swords. He doesn't look least at all at the very top is the ten of pentacles okay underneath is the ace of pentacles in the past we have the nine of wands the outcome here is the temperance card so you, your angels are um with you pisces so i think that there is nothing to worry about they are stepping in for you they're helping okay so i feel like this king of swords uh really want the reconciliation with you they want to make peace with you. Um, they may have been so direct and strict and overly protective in the past. Possessive could be um, with this picture here. But they, I feel like they're wise. They know what they're doing. They have the experience to be like this. I mean, they are an authority. Um, this Ten of Pentacles talks about um, this King of Chalice, this King of Cups. So perhaps this, perhaps this is another way of putting it. It could be someone thinking um, this person feels like they're happy with you. They want to com commit. They want longevity. They want moments of fun and laughter with you. They want kids and children and commitment, loyalty here. Um, it could be another energy. Uh, it could be a new person here, a King of Cups energy. Scorpio Pisces Cancerian energy that wants to commit and um, bring in uh, bring in this relationship together. Okay, so that's the, the very top. So what's underneath your Pisces is the Ace of Pentacles, and this is the Devil. Um, there's an energy here of being so tied up to material and financial gains because this is the devil and it looks really sensual here uh, with this deck so I feel like new beginning passionate someone is really wanting to express themselves here with you Pisces so um, and bring about this Ten of Pentacles with this Ace of Pentacles. So, um, the pa in the past, we have the Nine of Pentacles here. And we have the Six of Swords. Yeah, this is the one moving to calmer waters to um, give themselves some breathing air. Like, they're confused. They don't know what to do with this Nine of Wands. Where am I? Where am I going? Is this still the right path for me? They need. They just need to take a break, basically. Here, this was in the past. Could be ongoing. Then the outcome is the Temperance card with the Knight of Chalices. So, 
I feel like, you know, if ever this person has been coming on it off and on, um, angels are helping them out realize that uh, you are the one Pisces, that you deserve uh, the love, the support, you know, the um, this magical moment between two people, whoever this is. And, yeah, what else can we get? Um, okay, just the angel cards for Pisces. It's super hot here. Oh my god. I'm like, my sweat is dripping right now. So let's see. Okay, we have a healer of emotion. So it says, this is the time to follow your heart and feel the fullness of your emotions. You may feel so compelled to nurture others that you forget to care for yourself. Flashes of intuition provide you with incredible insights. You are another person is a kind, tender-hearted, loving, and trustworthy friend. Okay, so there you go. Thank you very much, Pisces, for dropping by. I appreciate you very much, and I'll talk to you next week. Bye for now.